Well, we all know what patios are. They're pretty self-explanatory mm -hmm. at this point, but what about catios? A catio, well, catios are personal outdoor enclosures made for our feline friends. Mm -hmm. And trust us, some of these setups are quite impressive. I've seen some catios in this town that are nicer than my patio. So <laughs> if you want to check out some of the best of the best for yourself and your kitties, Core Harlan joins us live with a preview of the ninth annual catio tour happening this weekend. Hey, Core. Man, there are some lucky cats out here in Southeast Portland, out at uh, about 55th and Southeast Long out here. We're at uh, one of the homes that is on the catio tour that happens this coming Saturday. Nine catios in the backyards that'll be uh, available to tour. And I got to show you this. We only got three minutes here. This is this is a luxury show right here. Uh, the owner is uh, Cheryl uh, here to my left. So, Carl, step in there for just a minute. Uh, Cheryl, you stay here back over here with me. Get in there close and show those cats, Carl, because Goober. Or in there, and they are having a the time of their life. Way to the left over there. They're having the time of their life in this catio that is bamboo themed. It's got a little Japanese garden mixed in with cat stuff in there. This is a Mac Daddy Cadillac catio patio that I have ever seen. I mean, that's uh, that's kind of not a sentence really, but uh, that's exactly uh, what it is. Cheryl, uh, owner here. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the inspiration for this, uh, the space that goes up here, because we got more to show with this, yes. believe it or not. So originally I went on a catio tour about eight years ago and was inspired to build one and never really knew where to put it uh -huh. until I met my neighbor, Sam. Uh -huh. He came over and said, let's do 80 feet of tunnels and uh, come over here and do a bamboo structure. So you got and the bamboo uh, structure, I'm going to interrupt you here, but the, the bamboo structure here is like uh, 10 times as much as I would probably do for my own house. That's luxury. But check out the tunnel way. This uh, catio here, if Carl can kind of show you this, is connected by an, uh, what I would call a catwalk, maybe, right? An 80 foot long catwalk? 80 feet. 80 feet long. It goes back into the house, right? So the cat can go into the house and then walk on this catwalk all the way out here to their rec room. And, and they come out here. Oh, show them right there, Carl, right there. They come out here, Goober and Mango, and they just come out here and raise cane with each other all day. Don't they have a blast? What a great life they have. They have a wonderful life. Yeah. Well, if you want to see this and get some inspiration, because this is what the Catio Tour is all about. There's nine homes on the tour this coming Saturday. Uh, get some inspiration on maybe doing a Catio of your own. Uh, there's a possibility to do that uh, this, this weekend here. Karen is the uh, with the uh, Feral Cat Coalition of Oregon here. The tickets are online. Tell me how people can, can get tickets to this and, and get involved and what the money goes for. We have two options. You can either come in person and tickets are $10 each and those run, they're available all the rest of today. Online. And then you can also buy tickets for an online tour, which you can then attend at any time. And there's no cutoff on that. And, and the money raised goes to? The money goes to Cats Safe at Home. It's our educational and outreach program that's partnered with the Portland Audubon Society. Cool. Great way to keep feral cat population down. That guy right there is the special sauce. He's Sam. He's the carpenter. You're the man, I'll tell you that right now. You did a good job on this because, uh, and I bet after people see this and, and hear about this, you're gonna get a lot of calls. Check out Mango here. Check out, what, 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 look at that. He's got space in here to run and to jump. Hey, Mango! Look at him up there. Good kitty, kitty cat. This is gonna be a fun tour, Travis and Emily, just, just in the sense that come around to these different places on the tour and just kind of dream up your own catio for your own cat. I don't know if you need to make an 80 foot long catwalk that kind of serpentines through the backyard into the back of the house there. I mean, I your understand cat would like it. also uh, that uh, your cat would love it. Karen also has a chip reader as they go in and out of the house, right? She has chips in the back of her cats, oh a chip reader as they go in and out of the house. So she'll be driving downtown. The, the phone will go, oh, no, Mango has gone in the house. Mango has gone out of the house. I mean, it's just <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> really kudos to you. This is a cool house. That's incredible. So go online, get your tickets for this catio tour this weekend. It's going to be awesome, and it is really now, incredible. Now, Cora, now you are a cat man. We've talked about this before. Dogs or cats, you're a cat guy. Are you, uh, are you and Sam getting together to build a, a nice catio for, for your felines? Yeah, listen. All, all my cat Jessup is going to do is ruin my white cushions on my front porch of my house. He's <laughs> smart enough to avoid raccoons. 
He's smart enough to avoid the neighborhood dogs. Uh -huh. uh, and he tells us when he wants to come in. I mean, he's, you know, so I, I, this is a little ambitious for me for a, for a, okay. for a, for a cat. Certainly I wouldn't do this for my, for my dog. That's yeah, well yeah, documented. Yeah, we know you but wouldn't do it for Max. Maybe, but this Max. is an ambitious, an ambitious undertaking. Yeah, Max. Poor Max. <laughs> All right. It is so Poor impressive. Max. It is, is really impressive. Poor Max. Yeah, thanks, Cor. Right. These, these catios yeah. are, I said, you know, they're nicer than my patio. That catio is nicer than my condo. Yeah, so. they, those cats are living in heaven. Yeah. That is, I liked how you had the shot. I believe it would be Mango that we saw. And then I believe the other name was Goober. Yes. Who was just down there getting ready to paw at, at Mango. They're living their Quite best the lives. Quite the setup. They really are. All mm -hmm. nine of them. All right.